This is the Harley Benson SC Custom Plus with EMGs. It's an incredible guitar and you can get these for just under £400. And this is a Gibson Les Paul Standard, which you can buy for around £2,000. This one has a custom silver sparkle paint job, but was originally a plain black Les Paul. I've added some EMGs, which were another £200 or so, making this guitar five and a half times the price of this Harley Benson. I made a video recently comparing a Harley Benson SC450 Plus to a Gibson Les Paul Standard, and it did really well, and people seemed to enjoy it, and it made sense for me to follow up that video with another Harley Benson versus Gibson like for like, or as close as I can get comparison. So spec-wise, they're a bit different. The Gibson has a typical mahogany body, mahogany neck, maple top, and rosewood fretboard. And the Harley Benson has an Akumi body uh, with a maple top and a Nyota neck, Nyota, and a Jatoba fretboard. They both have a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length and 22 frets, but the Harley Benson has a flatter 14 inch radius compared to the Gibson's traditional 12 inch radius. The Harley Benson comes with some good quality shallow style locking tuners. Uh, with the Gibson, I had to buy some hip shot locking tuners, which cost another about £100. Both have a three way switch and two volume controls, although the Harley Benson has a single tone control, whereas the Gibson has a tone control for each pickup. The pickups are EMGs in both guitars, although slightly different models, the Harley Benson uses retroactive Hot 70s, and the pickups I chose for the Gibson are the Hetset, which are the signature pickups from Metallica's James Hetfield. So let's compare these two guitars sonically. For the amp today, I'm using this tiny little Blackstar Amped 1 100 watt amplifier. I'll be using it on its clean USA voicing with the EL34 power section. For my overdrive and distortion sounds, I'll be using the Soldano SLO pedal, and an MXR carbon copy delay for a bit of delay, um, and occasionally I'll kick in a, a uh, Boss SD1, just to push the front end a little bit harder for lead sounds. Also, if you could click that subscribe button, I'd be very grateful. I know everybody asks, but it really does make a huge difference and allows me to keep doing more of this kind of stuff, so thank you.
what did you think? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear. Personally, I think that it was even closer this time than it was in the previous Gibson and Harley Benton shootout that I did. £400 is still a lot of money, but when it comes that close, it's a lot easier to justify. You may have even preferred the Harley Benton. If you haven't checked out my previous shootout, you can find it just here. Or if you'd like to find out more about this Harley Benton SC Plus with EMGs, I made a video for it and it's just down there. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.